What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here. To, well, no, it's not even a review. This is a quick discussion to um, Nipsey Hussle's newest studio album, Victory Lap. I wanted to do a discussion because I didn't know if doing a full review, I would be able to give you a full-on review about this album because um, it's bit, not that long, but I. What I took away from this album was I was taking away more of my favorite tracks, not the whole body of work, even though it is it actually is a good body of work. That's what makes this video weird to do because it's you can take it in as an album and not just tra take away your favorite tracks. You can take this in as a body of work, but I just wanted to give it a discussion. And um I have to say, tracks like Blue Laces 2 Dedication featuring Kendrick, Victory Lap featuring Stacey Barth, Rap Niggas, which is a banger. I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. I'm just a banger. Um, Million Why You Young featuring The Dream, Loaded Bases featuring CeeLo Green, uh, Real Big featuring Marshall Ambrosius. Just talking about doing it real big. Double Up, meaning like, you know, double up on yourself, double up on your money, and just chill. And, uh, one of the last tracks, if not the last track, Right Hand of God. I mean, I just wanted to quickly discuss this because do not sleep on this because this is him. This is Nipsey proving that he is one of the most underrated in the game and he's one of the realists in the game. Like, this with Slawson Boy too. I'm like, some artists I review or talk about. <laughs> That are either well known, um, most people don't know about them at all, or are known but no one really checks them out like that. Um, sometimes I forget what their projects are even called. Look, Slaughter Boy 2 was one of the best mixtapes of 2016, and this is helping further cement him as one of the most underrated in the game. And you gotta respect Nipsey Hussle for what he's doing. Not just as a rapper, but just as a business person. You know, investing in a STEM, working with, with Diddy. I'm like, I mean, this is more of a discussion in Victory Lab, but just kind of giving respect to Nipsey Hussle. Like, yo, keep doing your thing, man. Like, representing for the West, too. I mean, the, the West is killing, man. In 2018, the West is killing. Um, TDE. And the rest of the West, like, y'all are really putting on. Like, I feel like Snoop, Dre, Pac, if he was still around, never know, might be. Um, I feel like they're proud of these dudes, man. Like, they're really, really putting on for the West, man. So, I just wanted to give a quick uh, shout-out to Nipsey. Talking about him for a minute. Talking about this album. And uh, talking about my favorite tracks on him. It's like... Yo, Nipsey, just keep doing your thing, man. Um, good to see another West Coast representative. I'm not from the West Coast, but growing up, I heard a lot of the West Coast um, from that time in the early to mid 2000s and from the uh, from the 90s. I got more into the late 80s with NWA and other artists into my teen years. But yeah, to see somebody putting on for the West, I'm like, there we go. It's it's cool to see. So keep doing your thing, Nipsey, and um. If you have heard this album, go ahead and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And uh, what you think about, well, my quick discussion on it. Um, short video, not really a review like I said, but if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like button if you liked it. Um, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like the content that you see. Check the description so you can see my everything from social medias to everything else. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all next time.